Hey guys, welcome back. As you've seen it the other day, John came over with his bike and inspired me. I had a great idea. Actually, before I even bought the bike, I loved, I loved the all black look with a little tint of red. So when he came up, actually before I even, when I bought the bike, there was one thing I knew I was gonna do no matter what, to give a little red tint somewhere. And I knew exactly what I was gonna be doing. I was gonna buy uh, the red calipers. It's just like a Ferrari, a black Ferrari with red calipers, that popping red out of that all blacked out car is, is, is amazing. And I actually did see a video, I'll try to put it right here, where you actually see the bike all blacked out. This, this model, the, the, the electric light standard, this model all black and just one red huge caliper in the front putting out that red, red, beautiful uh, light. So I knew that upgrade will eventually come. And I was just waiting when I checked uh, Harley's uh, catalog. I think the item itself was like $500, $600 for a set of uh, red calipers, which are beautiful, beautiful. But remember, $500, $600, then I need to uh, have it installed, either do it myself and risk uh, draining the uh, brake fluid with all the problems that, you know, if it touches paint, it, it kills the paint risking that or just sending it out to somebody to do it it would be pretty pricey just to get that you know that little upgrade in the looks and when john came over with his upgrade to his uh caliper covers i knew what i'm doing so that's what i'm going to be showing you how i'm doing it myself <laughs> So I'm gonna be doing it myself. Take these uh, little caliper covers off, clean them up, spray paint them really, really nicely, put them back on and get that beautiful look that I was looking for. Not the whole caliper, but just give it a nice little hint of tint of red, red, red uh, contrast to this whole black and chrome bike. So let's get into the build, but guys, before we even do anything, I'd like to ask you to go ahead and give me a thumbs up uh, for this video. It really helps the channel. Also, if you wanna watch more of these videos of reviews, upgrades, and rides, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notification every time a new video drops. So let's get into the build. You see these calipers? I was gonna replace the whole assembly those things in, in the Harley catalog is like $500, $600. But what I'm gonna do is just give those a nice coat of red paint to match as much as I can to this. And for that, I actually bought four spray paint cans and I check uh, which one has the best fit. Good color, best color match. I'm gonna try <laughs> full four different Rust-Oleum color uh, spray, spray paints over here then then match it up with uh, the red on the tank. Okay, now we got all four tested out. Tomorrow when it's brighter out, take the bike out and compare the reds. So here are the samples from the other day that I painted. Uh, one, two, three, and four. And let's compare them. And here it looks, it's a bit too dark. This guy's definitely too dark. Check out one and two. Let's start in the shade. This is two. What do you guys think? Let me hold it steady. Two. Or one. It's kind of difficult to tell from here. That to me seems uh, the closest. The closest. Okay, can number one. There it is, one. And the color itself is sunrise red. There you go, right there, sunrise red. So let's take these guys off first. Now these guys just pretty much just pop off somehow. There you go, just pull off gently. And you see there's a tab on the top right there. And gently comes off. Yeah, okay, just this this little the tab on the top and these on the top, on the bottom, I mean. And as you can see, it's dirty from the brake. So let's take the other side off and clean them, clean them thoroughly. Just squeeze them on the side. Okay. 
and it's out. Squeeze it from both sides and pull it out. So let's clean them up. So just clean these up as best as you can. I'm gonna be using a little bit, uh, you know, spirit alcohol, paint thinner, anything that will dissolve all the oils and dust, whatever you have, and then let it dry uh, properly, of course. But for sure, just need to give it a good, very, very good clean. Once I got all the oils out with the paint thinner, with the alcohol, just gonna wash it, rinse it in actually in water downstairs in my sink and let it dry. Now let's dry it up. You can either leave it, blow dryer on it, or even hot uh, a heat gun just to get it done faster. I'm gonna use a heat gun. I think this is I think this is the tool that I use the most on all my upgrades. Okay, I'm gonna place them right here. And once I'm done with the spray, I'm gonna take it downstairs to my basement where it's warm and dry. Cause here it's very still humid, it just rained and it's coolish. And for the paint to dry properly, you need a, a warm and uh, dry uh, area. You know, we were talking about inspiration before, uh, how like John's, John's job on his uh, caliper uh, cover inspired me. You know, we, we're all inspired by different things. John's things that he does inspired me. I inspire him sometimes. And um, even you guys uh, with ideas and comments that you put down by the description, by the comments area, you come up with the best the best ideas and uh, in reference to that I'd like to uh, thank you if you've seen the last video uh, with uh, the merchandise the, the cost promo uh, shirts that I was uh, giving out at cost thank you so much guys so many of you went ahead and bought these uh, shirts and hoodies thank you thank you so much I I was actually shocked I didn't know so many people respond positively so thank you very much and of course, because of your interest and how 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 excited you are about you know getting these shirts, that inspired me actually to go ahead and think think of uh, another idea, another design. So I just actually put out a, a nice nice I think it's cool, pretty cool shirt, a t-shirt. Check it out right here. And if you want, that's not promo. If you're interested, go ahead and look at it. Anyway, let's uh, start the paint. Now the trick with painting is going very slow, very, very thin layers. If you put a, th a layer that's too thick, it's gonna glob up and it's gonna start running. So I'm gonna do uh, two coats at least on each side. Let's start with the first coat, very, very light coat. And actually these cans were uh, overnight in my garage and it was pretty cool over here. So I'm gonna heat this up just slightly with the heat gun. Otherwise uh, the paint itself becomes uh, sticky and, and globby. So that's it for now the slightest the smallest the thinnest coat let it dry i'm going to take it indoors i'm going to take it into the uh, garage i can take it into the basement where it's nice dry and warm a few moments later other side first layer let it dry. It was about half an hour since uh, the first coat. About three hours went by. All coats. I think it's dry by now. Time for an install. Time for the install itself. Let's put them back where they belong. Ho 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 ho. Ho 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 ho. This looks nice. <laughs> this looks really nice.
and it snaps back in. This is looking sick. Let me take, let me move the bike and show you what it looks like. What do you say about that little touch? What do you say about that little touch? Nice little combination with that. I really like it. <laughs> this is really nice. Hope you like it too. Tell me what you think. Do me a favor. Down by the comments, write what you think. I love it. So guys, November 1st, that's the first Sunday of November. Uh, I'll give you the address right here right now at uh, the market. Address right here. The whole gang of Cycle Fanatics, Holy Shift Gang, are meeting for uh, bikes and breakfast like we've done before. We'll meet and greet and have some great time together. Maybe grab some uh, breakfast, a cup of coffee. From there, we'll take a ride, a nice, uh, great ride. Last time we were there, uh, last Sunday we were there, 30 people came and we went for a 30 uh, bike group ride. It was amazing. So if you wanna meet me, wanna meet John, meet the gang of Cycle Fanatics and Holy Shift, show up, come to uh, this address right here and Palisades, 9W Palisades, the exact address is right here. And come and meet us, I think nine, nine o'clock in the morning it starts. Last time we had Shasi come in all the way from Pennsylvania, a three hour ride to come and meet and have fun and hang out with us. So definitely come every first Sunday uh, of a month, first Sunday of the month, that's where uh, there's this event of uh, nice old bikes, classic bikes, builds, Harleys, fast cars, and bicycles as well. But come and meet us, it's gonna be lots of fun. So guys, that's it for now. Hope you enjoy this uh, nice upgrade. Stay tuned because I have a lot, a lot of new items coming in the mail. Upgrades for this uh, 2020 Electric Glide standard. So appreciate if I get a thumbs up over here if you enjoyed this video. Wanna watch more of them? Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell, that little bell. So you, get so you get notifications every time a new video drops. From Holy Shift, I'm Sandy. Till the next video, peace out.